Hey everybody, Kyrie091 hanging out with you, boy oh boy, are we going to have big fun today playing some Final Fantasy VII. So, when we last left off, we had just caught some Kokobos, and we were going to get ready to breed them. Uh, before we breed them, however, we want to race them a little bit. I'm going to go stay at this inn real quick, because I want to do that. Um, hi. Thank you. Uh, so before we breed them, we want to race them up a class. Um... Uh, the higher class you get them, the more the more races you win with a Kokobo, the higher class it's going to become. The higher class you get a Kokobo, like once it achieves a better class at the racetrack, it's going to be more likely to have the desirable offspring when you breed them. Um, in this case, I'm only going to race them up one class each, which will take three wins for each one, so a total of six races I got to do right now. Uh, you don't I don't know that you have to have them uh, bumped up a class to get the outcome. It's just much more likely if you do. I think that if you just catch them and breed them as they are, they start as class C. I think if you just breed them as class C's, you will still maybe get the desired outcome. But I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to increase that chance and maybe even get me a guarantee. Oh, I also got to buy a lifetime ticket too for this place because we'll be back. We want to buy a lifetime pass for 30000 Alright. And our GP limit is 10000 Alright, so. GP is money that you use at the Gold Saucer. We haven't been to the Gold Saucer very much. We should really come here more often. This place is rad. So. Let's head up. God, I wish the Gold Saucer was real. Wouldn't it be fun to come here? Kokobo races. We did one earlier in the game to get out of prison. This one's the little stakes are a little bit different. So, Esther is the manager and she's gonna help us race. Who are we gonna use? We'll start with good F. Why not? Yeah. And we want the short course every time. I don't want to do it. So, if you win, you'll get an item ticket, so do your best. Let's take a look at our competition. All right, so there's our guy. Top speed of 79, stamina of 630. Wow, a lot of stamina. Okay, so our top speed is kind of average, but our, our we got we're killing them on stamina. We got way more stamina than these guys, and you can see the prizes we can win there. Antarctic win, Phoenix down. Um, we'll explain how you win those once we get to that mattering. Let's start the race. All right, so uh, you really, the bird will run forward on his own. Really all you can control is you can kind of steer him a little bit. That's what the intelligence factor is. When you're uh, feeding him, the intelligence uh, contributes to that. Stamina gauge is on the left there. If he runs out of stamina, you're toast. Like you can, he'll walk really, really slowly, but we don't want to run out of stamina. If you hold circle, the Kokobo will like sprint for a moment. Um, but it also drains your stamina very quickly when you do that. So we want to we wanna save that till like the very end of the race, which is this is a pretty short course. So it's not going to take too long. Um, come on. Come on. Yeah, where are you, end of the race? It's coming up here. Once you're out like in space, you're almost done, I know. Alright, so here is the end of the race. Here's the home stretch. And uh, we can gun it now. So you can see I'm running faster, the Kokobo has his wings out, but the stamina gauge is going down really quick like. And we got first place with a little bit of stamina to spare. The race doesn't end until somebody comes in second and we were way out in the front, it wasn't even close. Those other guys are, you can see them on the mini map up at the top right there. That straightaway on the top is like where the finish line is, so we still got a little ways to go before these guys will get here. You can't end the race until someone comes in second place. I like this music though, it's old Final Fantasy, uh, old Final Fantasy battle victory fanfare. Alright. So we got our first and second. So, 
Uh, uh, Kokobo number one, which is me, got first place. Kokobo number six got second place. So the prize gets paid out for whatever was behind card 1-6, because first and second was one and six. And it was an Antarctic win. So that's what we win. I don't care. I don't want that Antarctic win. I'm going to trade it for GP, and you can do that. I want GP. 20 GP? Give me GP. So we got 20 GP for that. Uh... So we're going to do a few more races with good F um, and get good F up to rank B, which is after you win three races. So I will see you guys once that is done. Finishing up race number two. Alrighty, so just finished up race number three. With good F, and what did we get? Eh, Fire Fang. It's actually not a terrible item, it's a spell casting item. But we don't have much use for it, so of course we're going to take the GP. Yes, please. Congratulations, you came in first. Your Kokobo moved up a rank from the next race on. That Kokobo will be in B rank instead of C. So good F is now a, a B rank Kokobo. We're going to race Great M up to B rank also. And uh, I'll talk to you guys once that happens. Actually, let's take a look at um, this guy's stats because we haven't seen them yet. Compared to like... Wow! Wow, look at his top speed. I mean, it's a little bit less stamina than uh, than freaking good F, but oh my gosh, look at his top speed. So, yeah, this is not going to be too difficult, I don't think. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So this is what happens when your Kokobo runs out of stamina, they kind of limp like this. I mean, I still won first place, but I intentionally ran my Kokobo out of stamina. Um, there's like a tr wow, look how far ahead I am of those guys, look at the map, they're like way back there. There's a trick you can do to refill your stamina gauge, uh, I, I think you hold R1 and R2 and push square repeatedly or something. I'm not sure, but I don't think I'm gonna need to do that, cause like, I'm not having any trouble winning these without doing that, so. I mean, look how freaking far ahead I am. So that's it for race one. Uh, I'm gonna just, I'll see you guys at the end of race number three once this Kokobo is a uh, B rank, like good F. Let's see what we win. Let's check out what we win. It doesn't matter. It's all stupid crap prizes anyway. Well, once you do the higher rank um, races, like class S and stuff, you get, there's some pretty dang good prizes to be won. But there's also much more challenging Kokobos to race against. And there's this one guy, his name is Joe, and his Kokobo's name is, like, T.O., and, like, you can't beat that guy. He's too freaking good. Like, you just can't beat that guy. It doesn't matter. Anyways. All right. See you guys in a bit. All right. So that was race number three for Great M. And we want to tranquilize her. It's trash. We'll just get our GP. I want GP. Yeah. So, Kokobo moved up rank. Kokobo will be B rank. So, uh, and by the way, you can bet on the races even without actually participating. So, for like a fee, you can like still buy one of those like tickets that the little cards that flip over there, and then depending on what Kokobo like wins, you can end up getting a prize. What Kokobos win first and second. Um, I don't really do much of that, but it's something you can do, though. Uh, it's really all about participating in the races. That is where the fun is at. So, we got now a good and a great, both Class B. And, uh, now we have to go breed them. So, we're going to make our way back to the Kokobo Farm and do that. I guess if you just were worried about, like, racing, like you just wanted an excellent racing Kokobo, this is probably not the... Like, this breeding sequence is not the way to do it. You might do better to, like, catch really, really good Kokobos and then breed them and give them the right greens and stuff. But I don't, I don't care about getting a good racing Kokobo right now. I care about uh, getting a gold Kokobo, and that's what we're heading towards. But first, we got to get the mountain and the river Kokobo. Real quick, let's talk and swing by the old uh, 
Kokobo Sage and see what he's got to say. We're going to buy a few more greens while we're up there because we are going to need them. Oh, Kokobo Sage, where are you? There you are. He, little by little, tells you how to do this. You remember something? A, go a great and a good Kokobo. When they're given carob nuts while breeding, there's a chance to get one of these Kokobos. So there's this Kokobo. Where can I get the carob nuts? Huh? Where was that? Where was that nut? Can't remember for the life of me. So, he feeds you little bits of information. Uh, unfortunately, um, it does take a while to get the whole process out of him. But if you're super patient, you can actually come and talk to this guy and learn everything you need to know about how to get a gold Kokobo. He'll tell you little by little, but um, you have to go do things. Uh, if I were to go back in there and talk to him again, he would still tell me the same thing about breeding a good and a great Kokobo with a carob nut. And then uh, after a while, you go back and he'll tell you the next step. So we now know if we breed a good and a great Kokobo with a carob nut, we can get uh, the mountain, the mountain Kokobo and the river Kokobo. So let's save it because the outcome of the breeding is randomly generated. So if we don't get the baby that we want, we can reset it and try again. So you always save it before you head inside to, uh, to try it and let's see what happens. All right, so there's our good F class B, great M class B, and let's mate some Kokobos. Which two Kokobos? So we're going to pick you, this one, and this one. Mate these two. We have to give them a nut. Uh, we're going to give them a carob nut. I don't know what the purpose is of all of the other ones there. The Zeo nut is for something. The carob nut is for something. These other ones, I don't think they do anything. Anything special. I guess I don't know. So, we're going to let them breed. Let some Kokobos get laid. Good old Kokobo sex. And the result is a green. We're keeping it. It's a male. We got us a green male. Uh, what do we call this guy? Just to make it easier to remember. Oh, just to make it easier to remember which one he is. We're going to call him Green M. So, that means that we want a blue female. Uh, now, we can't breed the good and the great that we just bred. We can't breed them just yet. We got to go do other stuff for a little bit. It's like you have to go fight some random battles or something like that. And uh, then after that, you can come back and try to breed them again. But they just bred, so they're not ready to breed yet. So I'll fight a few battles and see you back here. Alrighty then, let's see if we can breed these guys yet. The good and the great again. And, we, and I saved it outside, so if we can, we should be... Oh, no. Nobody. Nobody's going anywhere. No. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Mating Kokobos. We're gonna mate you and you. Go ahead. And let's give him another carob nut. Green male, right? We had a green male. We want a blue female. Anything else? And we gotta reset it and try again. So blue female is all we want. Okay, we got a blue. Are you kidding me on the first try? Unbelievable. What luck is that? Blue female. I didn't want to put the F at the end because it would look like I wrote the word blue F. I don't like that. So, blue female. Right? Yeah. Holy guacamole. Unbelievable, dude. This is incredible. I can't believe we got him on the first try. Okay. So, let's feed these babies. And then we're going to race them. So I'm going to feed both the, the this guy and the other one. I'm going to feed them like 40 greens each. Uh, and then I'm going to go race them each 
to, I guess, probably A class, maybe even S class. I don't know. Um, I'm going to race them both up uh, a couple of classes, and then we'll... And then I'll meet you guys back here to breed them. And we're going to breed these two together, the green male and the green female, or the blue female, even though they're brother and sister. But we're going to breed them together anyhow. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit. I forgot to mention, Tifa finally got Water Kicker, level 2 Limit Breaker. I don't know why the frick that took me so dang long. Alright, off to the races. Just thought I'd show you that Green M's stamina is freaking 999. So, like, yeah, I guess those Silcus Greens worked. So, I'm racing my way up to Class A. And, uh... I just happened to run into this son of a bitch. Um, I'll show him, I'll race him on camera right now, but I don't think we can beat him. He's too good. Urgh, it's the black one. He's got a cool hat. Why don't, why doesn't anyone else have a cool hat? It may look like I'm doing okay, but that guy's got a few tricks up his sleeve. He's got 1,200 stamina. I think he always has better stats than you. I don't think it matters what you do. I think that guy... The guy with the black kokobo always has better stats than you. Oh, here he comes. Ugh. Leave me alone. Oh, I wish I knew how to do this better. I'm not very good at this. Oh, he's not all that far behind me. <laughs> all right. Um. Um. I think I might have beat him. I think I got him. I got him. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyways, that dude is really good. That dude is tough to beat. Let's see what we get for beating him. Something cool? We get a hero drink. I guess I'll keep that. How much GP would I get for it? Oh boy, give me the item. Alrighty, so uh, we got to wrap up the episode. It's running a little long, but on the way back, I fought like 10 or so battles to, because, eh, I don't like, the color looks weird on this one. Are you the blue one? Um, uh, and I didn't race the blue one at all. I just got the green one up to class S. I think that's good enough if he is class S. Let's find out. So we're going to mate. Uh, you have to do some battles, by the way. The newborn, the babies, the ones that have just been born, can't mate for a while until you do some random battles. So we'll get you, green M, class S, and blue F, class C. Mate these two. We're going to give them a carob nut. Um, this is the last time we're going to need a carob nut for this, and let's see what we get. There's a very particular Kokobo we want to get right now. Let's see what happens. There he is! A male name. So we got us a Black Kokobo who is a male. We're going to, of course, name him Black M. And that should be that. So that's going to do it, guys. But we do have a Black Kokobo back here. Good deal. We're running out of space in our uh, things here. we got to make some room. Uh, we'll do that next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. Kyrie091 here telling you what to do again. Have a good day. Do it right now. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you. Bye.